Hi everyone and welcome to this week's video critique. I am going to be doing a Facebook Live into the 30 day video challenge and sharing my screen and recording this also on Zoom so people can go back and watch either or uh, videos. But uh, I'm just gonna turn my mobile phone on so I can stream live into Facebook. Here we go. This week's video critique. Good morning, guys, and welcome to this week's video critique. Sorry that my screen is a little bit, um, uh, the lighting could be better. I could be facing the other way, but you're only really going to be listening to me. And I'm also recording this on Zoom. So I will share the link into the 30 day video challenge later for you guys to watch this back. But this is uh, something I thought would give you guys great value to be able to watch me and listen to um, the things that I suggest that are going to improve your video. So definitely for me, <laughs> I could be filming this um, facing the open window, which would be a lot better. But as I said, you're only going to be listening to me because I'm recording the screen. So just going to go to share my screen on Zoom. and going into the 30 day challenge. So here I am, um, I've already picked Maria Paterakis uh, to be our number one business to be critiqued today for her video. So Maria is from Empower Counseling and Wellbeing and she has counseling programs that help women transform from the cells to the soul. Don't you love that little tagline that she's come up with? So I'm going to just play her little video and then we'll see um, what we can do for improvements. But I especially picked Maria's out because I absolutely love what she's done in this video. And yes, she did have a mentor help her and a sister with some suggestions. Um, but first of all, I want to say she's got her branding at the start of the video. I know Maria hasn't got a website yet, but she does have a Facebook page in Power Counselling and Wellbeing. So you can go and look her up um, and connect with her there. But she's still got her branding there at the front, which is great. So we're just going to play the video now. Hi there, lady. So she started off with some Christmas music. So you're guessing that her topic's going to be something to do with Christmas. And then as you can see, she's got some tinsel around her neck and holding some... Um, Christmas decoration. So obviously making people instantly think, well, this is going to be all about Christmas. So Maria's specifically done this video to um, attract people, attract uh, her ideal client to come on to her online webinar, which she held last week and I attended. She did very well for her first online masterclass webinar whatever you want to call it, workshop. And um, it's something that I love helping you guys do too. It, it'll really increase your profile, increase your leads, and, and you only attract your ideal clients. You're not going to a networking event where you're speaking to hundreds of people, say 100 people, and maybe five people might be interested in learning about video. That's why I run my online events. Okay, we'll play again. So she's introduced herself straight away. Um, with a nice big smile and she's got her name and her business name or her name and her title, sorry, Life Transformational, Life Transformation Counselor, come up on the screen straight away. And she's using Wondershare there, so it allows you to put a little bit of colour on the screen, which is a bit nicer than, you know, the options that I, I maybe gives you. So she's talking about what she's passionate about in the beginning helping you heal from your cells to your soul. So she's got the tagline and the introduction all wrapped up. She's got an elevator pitch, so to speak, down to pat. And it's the first thing you hear when you listen to her video.
Maria's got the music, the Christmas music playing throughout her video. So um, music in your videos does add energy and a, and a, a nice vibe to your music. Um, so it's a great way to just enhance your videos and take them to another level. So she's just put there up on the screen just the, the name of her online webinar, which is uh, Transform Your Christmas Stress to Your Christmas Bliss. And it's in nice, bright, colourful writing, which is just another little um, pop-up on her video, which makes it exciting to watch. She's just put up the time on the screen as well. So she's telling people what they're going to learn actually by turning up to the webinar. She's also letting them know that they're going to receive a workbook that they can download and follow through on her workshop. And she's offering a free tapping script to manage your overwhelm. So she's giving a freebie away as well on her online um, class. So she's, she's teasing people and enticing them, encouraging them to come on and register. So Maria's got another one coming up on the 25th of November. So if you missed her first one, go along and watch how she does it if you're not running already your own online events. And she's used the text above her video to explain and invite people to her webinar. So um, she said the day and time for people skimming Facebook. I'd probably just recommend that you put a little bit more in there to entice people that aren't going to click on your video why they should be coming to your webinar because you could be missing out on an opportunity there. Maybe just some bullet points, the key takeaways that people are going to get for turning up to her online workshop. She's got a link there to her Facebook event, um, which you can click on to register and then a link in there to go to Eventbrite because as I said, she's still putting her website together. So you don't have to have your website to start increasing your profile, increasing your leads, increasing your income. In fact, over the last 18 months, I haven't had a website and I'm rebranding at the moment and I use Eventbrite, Zoom and um, Facebook events and it works really well. I'm just setting up a, a ClickFunnels sales system which will be out in the next week. So I'll show you what I've done there too, um, which is really going to increase the leads. So, um, Maria Patarakis from Empower Counselling. I just want to say a very big congratulations to you, beautiful girl, um, for taking action because we talked about this and the next thing you know, she's put it all together. Um, her husband works away from home. He's just gone overseas and she's got two little kids, five and a one-year-old, but she's an action taker. So well done, Maria, for shining your light bright and being a great example to the rest of us. Um, okay, so... Okay, the next um, video critique I'm going to do is for Kylie Roy. Now, Kylie Roy is a makeup artist and she works for, she's a consultant for Arbonne. And she's done a little video behind the scenes showing us how she is set up for her demonstration that she's going to be doing, teaching women how to apply makeup. So I'll just start the video off. Okay, so she's introduced herself with a big smile. Hi, Kylie Roy from all of you. Um, she's also used um, a link to her Facebook page in the post of the video so that people can connect with her or if people have shared the video, they know how to find her because she's also, she does have a website for her Arbon business, but um, she's directing them here to her Facebook page.
So she, she's sharing her excitement about, you know, what she's doing, getting ready for her demonstration, a bit of behind the scenes. It's not in a professional studio. It's her using her mobile phone, but it's about connecting with, you know, her friends and family and her contacts on Facebook and showing them that, hey, this is what I'm doing and, you know, maybe you're interested in coming along to the next one. Um, behind the scenes videos are great. People want to get to know you. To that's how they get to know, like, and trust you. So she's showing a video of the range of, of different products there. So she's got a massive range there, not just skincare, she's also got body, body care and also um, makeup as well. <laughs> okay, so probably what I might have done in this scenario um, is maybe just for, you've got to remember when people come on, um, and watch your video. It could be the very, very first time they've ever met you. So although Kylie introduced herself and she said she's from all of you and you can clearly see that um, she's an Arborn consultant selling those products, but um, she could talk really about the benefits of using Arborn and why we might make the switch from our current makeup to, um, to a more natural organic range. So I know she's done that in other videos, but always remember, when you are doing a video, think that this could be the very first time that somebody has ever met you and, and come across you, so. Okay, so she's finished the, the video saying, thanks guys, have a great night. She's missed some vital, um, I wanna say Kylie, well done. Um, it was a great little behind the scenes video, but there's a vital piece of information missing right here in the end of her video, which is the call to action, which we often forget. So the whole reason we do videos is to connect with people, yes, engage with them, build relationships, but then we want them to do something as well. So maybe perhaps Kylie could have suggested that they go and sign up to her newsletter on her Facebook page to go into the monthly draw to win one of the Arbonne products or something like that. Or if they'd like, um, you know, a sample to be sent out to them, she, she could direct them somewhere there where they could opt in as well. So always have an opportunity where people can go to that next step with you. Otherwise they click away from the video and they're on to the next person who's then trying to do the same thing. So um, well done Kylie from all of you. Um, and my last um, critique, video critique for the week um, goes to, and I'm just picking random, I'm not favouring anybody at all. So ja Jacqueline tipping, oops, sorry. My phone was ringing, <laughs> that's not good. Um, Jacqueline tipping, Scott, I've got to get that right. So Jacqueline, um, I'm just gonna have a little critique of your video. I'm just gonna quickly go to your page because I should have wrote down your, the joy of living, that's right. Her business is the joy of living. So you can look that up and connect with her on Facebook. And you know, you're in this 30 day video challenge for a reason to make new connections. So please go over and say hi to these people and um, you know, just connect with them. So we we'll go back, find your video. Just bear with me as I scroll through. It would have probably be easier if I did a search, actually, but yeah. get there. If you guys have got any questions about any videos, then, you know, make sure you're asking under the pinned video of the day because that makes it easy for me then to go and find your videos um, and your questions and then other people can see, um, you know, your questions that you've got there as well.
So yeah, we're, we're up to day 16. So you're doing very well. There's no right or wrong. Don't feel like you're a failure if you haven't done a video every single day. But just remember, it's your opportunity to market your business. So what else are you spending time on um, that you could actually be spending time on doing a video and connecting with, with people? So here we go. Jacqueline, I'll just start her video. I just want to say all of these girls have... Uh, gone under two minutes, oh, Jacqueline, tiny bit over two minutes and nine seconds. We don't want your videos any longer than that on Facebook. Um, in fact, you could even do 30 second videos to entice people to click onto your website or your YouTube channel where they can watch more of your video. We, you know, we want them really to opt into your community to your um, to start getting consistent education from you. Okay, so although we, a lot of people are using, doing the, the video challenge to get confident and to get consistent, um, what I encourage you to do is not to come on and say, hi, it's day nine of Melissa Graham's 30 day video challenge. You just want to open up because you, you don't know, you could do a really good video and then you want to share it later. So um, that's the first thing I would say is Jacqueline, just um, open up and introduce yourself um, and your business name at the very start of, of the video. And you've also got that room above, you've got, um, you've got a question there, that's fine. But if you, as I said, if you can put your questions under my pin video, it makes it much more easier for me to find these questions um, and answer them for you. And we really need a call to action. So put your contact details in there and um, you know, put, a, put a link there to your website or your Facebook page again. So um, Jacqueline's actually just sharing her experience today about being in the 30-day video challenge and how she's setting up consistency to be able to continually do videos. So it's actually not really a tip on how to have a more joyful life, but that's okay. But what I want to just suggest in your video, Jacqueline, is to perhaps, you've, you've, I can see there you've put like a peachy light pink scarf on. Um, brought a little bit of colour into there, but it's it's very quite um, bland with the light brown and the creams in the background. So, you know, I know we're limited. Um, sometimes some of us are limited where we can do our videos. And as I said, my this video isn't great because where I've got the camera positioned, I'm not facing an open window. But as I said, I'm recording this on Zoom and um, and I'm facing the direction I need to be to to record that. So I would say just try and think about putting some colour in your videos. And, and especially if you can think about what, what your branding colours are. I know we've got a branding coach uh, in the 30 Day Video Challenge, Ellie Isaacs from Switzerland. I'm actually working with her at the moment. She's very good. So you take up her offer to, to work with her, get your bio done or your branding, anything like that. Um, your, your colours are important. And look, I'm wearing a bright pink top because that makes me feel good. It's part of my branding. And it really does make a difference when people are watching your videos. That's why I say, please don't wear black in your videos. And I'm sorry, Ellie, I know that's actually your branding colour. I think black and, black and silver, um, which you look amazing and beautiful. Um, but yeah, just a little tip there for Jacqueline. Maybe perhaps there's something she can put up, maybe perhaps an image or canvas or something She's all about the joy of living. So she could have the words joy or she could have a love heart, you know, on a canvas behind her or something like that. So that would be my suggestion. And also at the top, um, again, I mean, she's talking here about her experience in the 30 day video challenge. But again, use that text that is available to us to tease people into watching our videos and um, encourage them to actually click on the video and watch. So. Um, thank you for joining us. If you've got any questions, I can see um, we've got Natalie here, Maka, Renee, Rosalind and Denna. Thanks for joining me. Um, this is something I'll be doing every week now. Um, 
on a Wednesday morning. So video critique of the week. And it's a bit of a promo as well for your videos and your business. So um, keep up the great work, everybody, because, um, you know, amazing things can happen for you if, if you are consistent and you just keep getting out there and, you know, sharing your message and connecting with your tribe. So um, I'm going to turn off the Facebook Live now and the Zoom and um, I'm just off to Catherine Booth, who's one of my... Um, clients she's put together the 30 day cleanse and I'm up to I think three weeks on the cleanse and I've lost five kilos so I am feeling amazing I've got so much energy and I've encouraged her to do a Facebook live on her business page Catherine Booth um, health and well-being mentor we're, we're I think it's uh, we're tweaking that name but uh, if you're around it'll be over on her business page but we'll probably share it into the video challenge later today too so have a great one, guys. Keep up the great work. Bye. So thank you so much for joining me today on the video critique of the week. Keep up the great work, guys. You are amazing. You have nothing to lose. So go out there and shine your light so bright and have an awesome day. Bye.